Hi friends, here we're going to learn the fourth method of finding or evaluating the limits, right? And this is rationalization. So up to this point, we have learned the three methods previously in previous videos uh, of finding or evaluating the limits or limit for the limit problems, right? Solving the limits problem. We learned three methods. This is the fourth one that is rationalization, right? So depending on the situation, you know, friend, uh, how is the question? First, how is the questions? Depending on the question uh, we may have to rationalize it by the numerator or sometimes by the denominator also right so uh, let me give you a small example of this uh, let me write suppose suppose limit I'm just uh, giving an example right uh, when x tends to 0 right and 1 plus x square it's root over right and 1 minus x square suppose it is and uh, whole divided by suppose uh, it is x right this kinds of problem suppose uh, if we have to do this kinds of problem you know uh, we have to rationalize it by the numerator in this question uh, especially uh, it may be something right here the same thing over here in denominator also then in such cases uh, we have to rationalize it with the numerator right so in this problem we have to rationalize it, rationalize it by the numerator so I'm just doing that right limit when x tends to 0 1 plus x square right minus 1 minus x square right whole divided by x so I'm rationalizing it by the numerator so the sign will just change if it is negative then we'll be doing by the positive and if it is positive then we'll be doing by the negative right so 1 plus x square plus right 1 minus x square since it is negative so we are doing by the positive 1 plus x squared the same thing I have to write plus 1 minus x squared right so why I'm doing uh, rationalization you know uh, if we just put the value of here uh, or plug the value of x then we'll be getting you know uh, denominator will get since x is here so we'll get something denominator will be 0 that is undefined form right that's called infinity so that's what we have to rationalize it okay so further what we'll get now limit when x tends to 0 now see it is just like the this whole just uh, imagine this whole uh, let me change color just imagine this whole as a, right this is suppose a and this is b then a minus b a plus b right and we know the formula that a minus b times a plus b is equals to a square minus b square right so under root uh, means root over 1 plus x is working as a, a here and root over 1 minus x square is working as a b so now a minus b and a plus b right so it will be now uh, sorry yeah 1 plus x square under root that is a square minus b square that is 1 minus x whole square root over whole square right so this is this is a square minus b square and now this x times this right 1 plus x square root over right plus 1 minus x square now uh, since uh, this is the square so root will cancel now both in both places so limit when x tends to 0 it will be 1 plus x square minus again 1 and since this is minus and when it the, this root will goes out so it will be plus exactly so plus x square okay and now here x times 1 plus x square right plus 1 minus x square okay so now see here minus minus so this plus 1 and minus 1 will cancel and we'll get the result limit when x tends to 0 2 x square whole divided by x times 1 plus x square that is root over plus 1 minus x square right it's a square root over right so now this x will cancel this square and finally what we'll get we'll get limit when x tends to 0 x whole divided by 1 plus x square 
plus 1 minus x square right so now if we plug the value of x we will not get any undefined value right because uh, here if we place uh, and here if we place then simply if we place this uh, 0 over here I mean if you plug the value of x this 1 plus 0 and then 1 minus 0 so root over 1 root over 1 it will be 2 right so denominator is not 0 it means we are not getting any undefined value so now we are uh, able to directly plug this value so the limit will be simply 0 whole divided by 1 plus 0 square or uh, 1 minus 0 square overall it will be 0 upon 1 plus 1 that is 0 upon 2 that is of course the 0 right so like this you know we have to find the limit the or we have to solve the problems of limit so here if you haven't the rationalize it right we will be getting this value some undefined value we, we, we were getting right so not to get such undefined value right we here rationalize the numerator but depending on the situation or questions we may have to rationalize it by the denominator also so if you go to my website you know uh, that is you know I think that's skyingblogger.com s k y i n g right blogger skyingblogger.com I have listed a lot of problem there right lot of problem related to this limits and uh, problem especially related to this rationalization so th if you solve those problem you will really get a good knowledge in this topic right so I would prefer uh, really I prefer you to go this f and visit this website and try to solve those all problems then you'll get a good knowledge in this chapter okay so in the next video we'll be doing something different okay bye bye